Hello, this is Chain 344. We are a knitting, spinning, uh, crocheting, sewing, thinging, thinging podcast. We should have an intro by now, but I always forget the like the <laughs> that we're doing all the podcast. things that Surprise. we're saying. We have a window behind us today, so that'll be fun. Yeah, <laughs> because we rearranged the furniture here. Yes, and um. We both had super exciting weekends. We sure did. Very crazy. And we have a guest host today. It's Ernest, who's super grumpy. (laughs) He doesn't look it, but he is. Have a dragon. There you go. Mm. Yeah, for my super fun weekend, I went with my sister up to the great white norther land (laughs) of Duluth, Minnesota, Basically Canada, essentially. Could have driven a few more hours and been in Canada had our passports been in order, but (laughs) darn it, didn't happen. Um, It was her birthday this past week. She turned 21. Mm. So she and I went up there for a classy weekend of beachcombing, finding rocks and lake glass, which is like sea glass, but from Lake Superior. (laughs) And... Went out and ate good food, watched Mean Girls, all the appropriate <laughs> 21 paraphernalia. Good times. Sweet. Very nice. I visited with someone I hadn't seen for a very long time at their uh, family farm. And it's like a farmhouse that was built in like, I don't know, 1800 something. And her family has lived there for a hundred generations. A hundred? <laughs> More or less. Yeah. Um, I think four or five generations, she said. And uh, so the house like doesn't have running water and stuff like that. Oh, that's it's, so fun. Yeah. That's um, very fun. So we went up there and visited, or down there actually. Um, Isn't it? Misleading. I always think Viroqua is north of here, <laughs> which it's not. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that was cool. I hadn't seen her in a really long time, and we just kind of hung out and took a walk up to the the ridge that's on their property and looked out oh, nice. and the view, and it was really pretty and super nice weather that day. We were lucky. I dig it. Yeah, and then we uh, went up. That night we went up to the bluff and watched the super moon. Oh, wasn't that sweet? It was awesome. Yeah. I didn't know it was happening, honestly, because I was so just like out of the loop from this weekend. (laughs) I was going on an emergency ice cream run (laughs) and I was driving along our road, which we're like up at the top of the bluff and there's all these cars pulled over. And there had been a like a bicycling event, mm-hmm. but I'm like, it's like 9.30. <laughs> Why are there people still up here? Why are they all high schoolers? Why are they all laying on their cars? <laughs> there was a thing. Mm-hmm. And it looked thing. awesome. It was really cool. Very, I don't, very it cool. didn't really turn that bright red for us. No? Like, like I mean, seeing the pictures that yeah. people are posting online, it's like... Well, yeah, because... I swear, you try to take a picture with anything, and it's like, here's this little thumbtack hole. Yeah. That's the moon that you're seeing with your eyes, and it looks this big. <laughs> yeah. It, it, I don't know, it definitely didn't look as, um, dramatic. Yeah. I mean, that watching the eclipse was cool, but, um, it didn't turn, like, no. super bright orange harvest moon no. to my eyeball. But it was cool. so cool. Yeah, um, we went up to the Grandad Bluff like park nice. thing. We got there early, so we like staked out our little spot. Oh, mm. that's fun. Yeah. So while I was getting ice cream, you guys were probably like <laughs> being real explorers, <laughs> space explorers. I mean, we were just sitting on, there's like a pavilion thing with some benches and stuff, so we were sitting next to that. We didn't go like deep into a... Whoa. Secluded place to watch it. We were surrounded by all the high school kids. When it's when it's dark and you're on top of a bluff, like 
Bahaing through the underbrush <laughs> is not always the best choice. It was fun, though. That is cool. Yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah, I felt dumb that I didn't know it was happening. <laughs> like, why are there all these people? And then the next day, the internet was just like, did you see the moon? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have one of those on this planet. <laughs> Sorry, I'm from out of town. Yup. So that was fun. That's what I did. I got a decent amount of uh, knitting stuff done. I cast on a, a new thing because I wanted to have something like mindless and easy prepared for when I went to visit at my friend's house. Very good. And then I didn't do any knitting while we were there. I That's figured we what would, happens. Yeah. I figured we would sit around a campfire for a while and then we went on a walk instead. Hey, that is okay. <laughs> it is getting so pretty up yeah, here. It for sure <gasps> is. Fall! And driving down to Viroqua, there's all those big hills and tree-covered bluffs. Mm. Oh, so pretty. Yeah. Even, like, up north, the trees are turning even more. So just the three days we were gone, coming back down here, you could see, like, subtle shifts. I was like, it's happening. It's (laughs) happening. (laughs) Autumn! One of my friends from Illinois texted me the other day, and he said, so, how's Wisconsin right now? And I said, it's pumpkins! <laughs> it's pumpkins. That is an accurate description. Wisconsin is pumpkins. And they're it, all, like, uh, this big. Yes. Oh my god. Yes, I know. I need some more. Don't let me forget to give you pumpkin butter. Yes. I have some in my fridge, dear internet. It, yeah. It's for me. Yes. Ernest doesn't like it. What? What is he wrong likes, with you? He likes pumpkins, but the pumpkin butter, he was really not sure about. Aww. Probably because I was feeding him directly out of the crock pot. And he was kind of <laughs> like, that's too big for me. <laughs> What's yeah. wrong? Don't like pumpkin I, butter. I think it was more skepticism. He was more worried <laughs> about my choices and feeding him an entire crock pot of something. <laughs> Where are you going? Okay, bye. Okay, bye bye. Don't do anything naughty. Yeah, you're gonna pull down all of our cords, aren't you? Yeah, if there's a sudden blackout, you know why. Yeah. We'll, yeah, if there's a jump cut, (laughs) it'll probably be a funny story. (laughs) (laughs) Most likely. That's mine, too. Let's take all the dangerous things off the floor. Yeah, so I got a minor amount of knitting done while we were driving to Duluth I brought my Angora socks which Mm -hmm. were almost done to work on and I'm like I always do that thing where you're like I'm gonna bring this and I'm gonna knit everything and I'm gonna bring five more projects so I'm like no I'll just bring this one thing and I finished it in like half an hour Oh no! and I was like crap it is a four hour drive (laughs) Like, what do I do now? I guess I have to talk to the people in the car. (laughs) And we're back. Hi. Yes. He's, like, pushing me away, like, get out of my shot, this is my scene. Yeah, he, (laughs) I wonder where he gets that from. That was rude. Yes, so, uh, do you have any works in progress to finish off? Yeah, because I'm I'm baby wrangling here. Okay. This is a raw example of Ernest, the <laughs> destructo baby. Um, well, I unfortunately didn't take the things out of the bag first, so I've got to, like, find all, where all the balls lead to the projects. That's the best part. It's like mystery yarn tangle. <laughs> so here's my sweater from last week. I did the armhole shaping for the fronts. Whoa! That's my knee in your head, buddy. Yep. He doesn't care. Oh, now he's gonna pretend he cares. (laughs) He's tangled in your yarn. Oh. What are you upset about? That's water. So there's the cable on the front, which is kind of hard to see in the camera. It's it's subtle, but it's less subtle in real life. 
Um, it's very refined, I think. And then I joined uh, the front to the back, so I'm about an inch past the <laughs> armpit. So that's going well. I'm not looking forward to this kind of the slog of like all the rest of the body. Like this part feels like it, it goes really fast because yes. you've got little milestones to reach. It's so misleading. Yeah. And then for the next two feet or whatever. Just running interference here. <laughs> Um, there's nothing to do. I mean, I guess I will have little tiny milestones of, of doing the, the cable it's repeats. It's totally, totally milestone-ish. Yeah. But then between the cable repeats, it's just two by two ribbing forever. So it's gonna go much slower now, which is sad to me. But that's, it's going. It's progressing. Oh. My yarn is oh, sorry. everywhere. So I've got that. And then, like I said, I cast on something for... Something mindless. For... Ooh. Campfire knitting. I saw something cool. <laughs> I saw surprises. Um, which is a, a shawl. Um, I'm using... Uh, hazelnuts. Which is this gray. Uh, artisan sock. And this is Crystal Palace Sausalito, and I really like this. It's a fingering weight, um, two ply, and is it just garter. Stitch? Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, and this yarn has super slow, gradual color changes, and I really like it. Which we both like yeah. here. You can't see it on screen at all, but it's like blue to green to purple it's like a cool color rainbow yeah it yeah. looks like an oil spill in a good way <laughs> oh it does in a good way i didn't think of that because the because the gray in there too um so yeah it's just garter uh sections Uh, I saw it happening. It's fine. Maybe we'll cut that out. I'm not for sure. It depends. We say on... that every time. I know. It depends on how I'm feeling when I'm doing the editing. No, I think it's funny. <laughs> You're funny. There's and gonna then be more. these are just like knit two together yarn over sections. The pattern is called Reina, R-E-Y-N-A. And, oh, I was totally prepared. Oh, look at this preparation. The designer is... Nora Levola. Yep, that's what it says. Nura. Reina is the pattern. Um, I'll post it in the show notes as per usual. We like freebies. Oh yeah, it's a freebie. Very, very exciting. My favorite, my favorite kind of thing. <laughs> Free! <laughs> Mine too. And then my last thing is I've been oh doing my gosh. <laughs> a little bit oh, of spinning. Why isn't it showing up good? And cool. well, we had to change the um, <sighs> camera settings today because the because we're Window. being so backlit. Yeah. And so I changed the like contrast and brightness settings and stuff. So like even more than usual, the the colors are not picking up. It's, like, I can't even talk about how nice this is to work with. It's like Monet's garden. It is like Monet's garden. I don't know if the camera picked up you saying that. Oh, probably not. <laughs> but I am almost done with the first half of this. Okay, that's um, a little better. Yeah, color that's wise. almost true to color. Almost. It's got the more, the greens are more vivid greens. Mm -hmm. Um, so <sighs> yeah, the, it's super nice to work with. And so I don't know if I mentioned before, but I split the braid in half mm -hmm. lengthwise. Um, and then I don't know whether I'm gonna do a Fibonacci thing. Or not, is, what is it called? It's not Fibonacci. Where you do half, and then half of half. Yeah. Isn't it Fibonacci? I forget what it's called. Um, 
math. Yeah, math stuff. I may do, or I may just spin the other half reversed, reversed. so it's mirrored. Yeah, and then apply them together. Oh I'm, my I'm gosh. fairly sure I'm going to apply it. Oh my gosh. Because it's, it's so just too little to beautiful. use as a single. It's so beautiful, though. Yeah, like, I'm excited about this. I think it'll be super pretty, pretty as a two-ply Yeah. with itself. Yeah. Are you going to apply it reverse so that the opposite? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and it'll have sections where they match up. But... Oh, it'll be like kind of like JoJo Land. Yeah. A little bit, but yeah. with silk. Yeah. Oh. Merino and silk, I believe. Or maybe it was BFL and silk. It's delicious. Yeah. That's the end of that. <laughs> like, there's nothing else. You Like, ugh. I'm sad that it's not showing up so yeah. well. And, like, it's all the silk sections have this kind of, you know, silvery luster. luster. yeah. That's what what? I'm Just imagine that, but something that makes you want to cry and <laughs> paint water lilies. Yeah. Yeah, think of Monet's garden. And those and... are the colors. Yeah. They're pretty. <sighs> so I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. Um, That's all I've got for works in progress. And I've got no finished objects, so these are my things. Well, my that thing is awesome. I can't wait to see it all finished. I know. Oh, my man. I'm so excited. Uh, well, all my things I hid from Ernest. <laughs> um, I showed off my sweater last time, right? Yes. Yes. Well, that sweater, zero progress made. So we're not even going to talk about it besides that. Then I have this that I know you're going to think I'm crazy, but I cast this on last night. <gasps> this is the yarn we dyed. Yeah, this is the beet yarn. Oh, it's like really showing off the contrast. Ooh, it really yeah. is. It's it's showing off the contrast, but it's not showing off the color. Right. Like it looks, it's rosy. Pink, peachy. Yeah. Let's see if we can get. No. Nope. Mmm. Kind of. Slightly closer. It's just a basic heart-shaped shawl. So it has six increases every other row. And I'm just doing random garter bumps as I feel them. And this is my second skein that I just attached to, like, literally half an hour ago. And it was originally Wool of the Andes by Knit Picks. I was just about to ask that. Yep. And then we dyed it with beets. One we dyed caked and one hanked. Caked you... and bald. Oh. Right? I thought you did both of them caked, but one was kind of loose and one was... One was tight. caked, one was bald. Okay. This one was caked. The first one was balled up, so the inside's super light. And when I wound them, I was like... Spent a long time debating how I was going to wind them, like, how I wanted to match the colors up, and mm -hmm. I am, like, loving it. Yeah. Loving it. Yep. That is so pretty, and that's a really good, it shows off the mm -hmm. the contrast really well, the gradient. Yeah, I am going to have a hard time giving this one away. <laughs> <laughs> but it's for my sister. I guess I like her. <laughs> yes. So there's that. And the sweater's an in-progress thingy. And then I finally started my scoreboard cowl. Mm. I started it yesterday because I wanted to be all caught up. Cause you did all that yesterday? Um, mm, I think, yeah, Sunday. Sunday. I started Sunday. And I tried to power through it most of Monday. And it takes forever because I'm doing like a trillion stitches and I'm really happy with it so far, but it's so wide and so thick because I'm using a bulky yarn that I'm going to rip it out and do less stitches, mm -hmm. but I'll be more happy with it. Yeah. I would rather, because this is an ongoing thing, this is going to go on the whole season that the Packers are playing. Which hopefully will go into the postseason two sports. Um, but like, there's gonna be a minimum 
of 16 of these. Like, you can see where the white line is. This is one game's scores. There's going to be a minimum of 16, and I've used almost an entire ball of one yarn already, and most of the other one. So, I need to have a cheaper slash right. more yarn economical right and time economical like i mean you've essentially knitted on an entire cowl already right yeah because you could slip that over your yeah. head yeah totally and i i thought about binding it off and doing that but i really i i have this vision for it and i really want to achieve that so i'd rather rip it out and have a project I'm going to enjoy throughout the whole season. Yeah, Ernest is playing double dutch with our charger. Ernest, hey. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. He's so naughty. So there's that. That's kind of like a whips, whoops, like oops, sad. I like that that's a label of something it, for us. It is. I enjoy well, it. Well, it happens occasionally, and that's a very accurate way to label it. Mm. Yep. Yeah. I do like those colors, though. Yeah, I really struggled finding the right colors to go together, because I really wanted something tonal, and I have some sock yarn that's the right colors, and it's mm -hmm. tonal, but that's, like, way too fine gauge. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I went with Bulky, and this I got from Hobby Lobby. One is... Andy's alpaca, and the other is Tender Touch, which is just an acrylic. And I really like them. They pair well together. I just need to adjust my scale. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then my finished object that I am so happy about. All the squish. Mm -hmm. My Angora socks are done. They're not really, like, showing up that well. But I'm very pleased that they're done. I love it when socks are done. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I like making them, too, and these went super fast. But, like, just that feeling, like, I don't know. I have this weird pride, like, I feel like socks are, like, the ultimate thing. <laughs> like, making a sweater is a big endeavor, but socks, you're, like, useful. Yep. Pretty. And I did it. Yeah, yeah. And you get that feeling of accomplishment twice. Twice. When you make them. Yes, yes. I do have the problem, though. I do them two at a time sometimes, but usually I just work them one at a time mm -hmm. on DPNs. Are we still here? <laughs> I think he, he uh, stopped, stopped, and stopped and started the recording, so no. we should be good to go. <laughs> yeah, I think he did. Wow. Naughty boy. Good, good job starting it back up, though. Yeah. Yeah, he knows how to turn on the Xbox controller now, so while we're watching Netflix, he'll suddenly find it, turn on the controller, and just start button mashing, so <laughs> we'll suddenly be watching, like, Blue's Clues, <laughs> or something random. Yeah, you're naughty. So yeah, finish those socks, happy with that. I still have some yarn left over, <sighs> I'm thinking of making either pocketbook slippers with them, or, like, ankle socks. Cool. Because Angora socks. I saw a super cute, um, like, summertime slipper pattern mm. that I wish that I had seen back when I was trying to make those other things. <laughs> Crocheting them? Yeah. How many yards is it? Um, like, two. Two? Okay. <laughs> so you just wrap your foot in the yarn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Because I have... It was, like, not many at all. I don't, I have, I don't remember. I think... 80 left? 80-ish yards in that neighborhood? I don't remember how much... <laughs> See, baby hands. <laughs> I don't think I looked at the pattern long enough to uh, realize what it was. But, okay. like, I saw... <laughs> it's like, I didn't get into I the know, details I know it. what you mean. It was just... <laughs> I saw a thing and my brain didn't register. <laughs> I know that feeling. Yeah. 
But, like, I saw three cute patterns for summer slippers, and I was like, where were these when I was, like, making... Hiding. They, they're they like deer during hunting season. They just There's a ton of deer when season isn't open, and they all go hide. Have you shown this off? Um, I don't remember. I think I might have. This was made for me during the Christmas in July hat swap oh that we did right a very nice lady made this for me and i love this hat i wear it all the time um i'm gonna have to look up what pattern she used because she did tell me it's a sock weight oh, that's so pretty it's I wonder what super is. pretty this is nitpick stroll tonal uh, which yeah. i have some of that's what the the other tonal thing you were gonna make yep. the towel out of right yep yep the packers colors that i what are you doing? He's just like <laughs> flailing around on the ground. Yeah, I love how this looks and it's green, which is my favorite color. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Yep. Cannot. Um, other than that, That's I don't it? know. Yeah, for now, avoiding casting on my color work mittens, but <laughs> I'm going to say this now. I'm going to at least have them cast on by next episode. Okay. I'm going to do it. Okay. One mitten. Cast on, possibly worked on. Okay. We'll see. Cast on's the hardest step sometimes. Doing the color, though. I know I charted it all out and did all that work. I just need to do it. Mm -hmm. You can do it. I hope so. Do the do the two color two color color work two handed color work yeah and we'll this, see th- that's what this means but we'll see I will be updating you next week on my sadness or my <laughs> complete joy yeah like it could go super well yep <laughs> you just beard wiggle buns <laughs> yes. Um, so I think the, the other thing to talk about oh, yes. is the events that we're partaking in at the moment. Events! And that is the DCS pigskin party. Mm-hmm. And it's a football thing, except you don't have to care about football to do it. <laughs> I don't know things about football. I tried to discuss you the care, game. You though. I do, just because I know the human interest stories about the players, and because Wisconsin. Just wait, it doesn't take, it doesn't take long. You'll start, like, you'll hear yourself saying things about Aaron Rodgers, and you'll just be like, it happened. Yeah, I know. You're crazy. You are. You're crazy right now. He's going through, like, super excited about this thing to super upset to super excited. It's just, you know, he's great. You are great. You're full of energy. (laughs) And I wish I could be like that after staying up literally all night. But I'm not. What are you doing? So that event is going on on the um, Down Cellar Studio right? podcast. Yep. Yeah. Down Cellar Studio and podcast group. Yes. So go check that out. I'll link that in the show notes on the Ravelry group. And um, that's a lot of fun. You earn points for like how much you knit or crochet or spin. Um, and then every, like, 100 points, you're entered into, um, the drawing for the giveaway that, I don't know if it's every month or just at the end. There's a lot of prizes. Yeah. I know that. There's a lot of prizes. They've already done one, I think. Oh, it must be every month then. Well, they did one that was, like, I think a random. Oh. I, I don't know. I have been, like, out for vacation like <laughs> checked out of most things i keep track of so i'll have to listen to the latest podcast yeah yep um and the podcast is not on youtube it's like if you go to the group and then go to the website 
and then you can go to the iTunes or other what, what hosting other, thing yeah. that she's got. Yeah. And I listened to it on the other hosting thing. And It's an audio. Yeah, it's a Leo. And you can just, like, you don't have to download a special podcasty type program to listen to it. You can just go to that website and listen to it. So I don't know why you're listening to it on a phone, but you probably <laughs> could if you have one of them. Yep. Fancy phones. Yep. Or iTunes lets people do the iTunes thing. Yeah. Um, I do not. Because do I don't it. have any Apple do items at all. Don't do it. No, don't do he's it. He's going to do it. Yeah, I know. He's going for it. <laughs> You're okay. I know. That's like a signature <laughs> laugh cry. <laughs> that was all you. <laughs> and it was hilarious. Look at this face. He doesn't know if he's sad or happy. Or sleepy. Yeah, I think. I agree. Our other event is on our group. Yep. It is the Christmas gift commiserate along. Yep. Where we're chatting about gifting, things we're making, working on to give to people, projects we want to do, asking for help, all those things. You can check it out on our Ravelry group page. Yep. Um, oh, Give we're, them. yeah, Christmas thing is not really uh, in a long, thing. it's just, it's going on until Christmas or holiday general time, and no prizes or anything, it's just a just hangout fun. and talk thread. Um, it's been pretty active so far, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice, it's so nice. Come tell us what you're making, and we'd love, we love to see that and get inspired by what you're making. Um, and I think think we're going to have a proper event yeah. for October. Yes, I agree. We'll have to use our evil brains. Evil brains? No. Our brainstorming powers. Should we pause the recording, talk about that, figure that out, and then add that to the end of this episode? Sure. <laughs> okay. Hold on. BRB. Okay. We did a thing. <laughs> Okay, we've the decision has been made. I'm super excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, the October knit along starting starting in the first. uh 2 days, Thursday the 1st. So, by the time you see this, it'll probably be time to get, get pumped for this. Get pumped. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was relevant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, there are two things, two components. Yes. First, this many. October being the first proper month of fall, pumpkin themed. Anything any you can connect to any pumpkins. Any relevance that you can make to pumpkins. It can be orange, it can be pumpkin dyed. Like, what? <laughs> pumpkin patterns, yes. a pumpkin fair isle bodysuit, I don't care. <laughs> like, yeah, pumpkin patch jumper. Yep. Yeah. I'm feeling that. Yep. Anything. Yep. Pumpkin related. Related. If it has pumpkin in the name, if it has, if yeah. it comes from a book pumpkin yarn. with, like, yeah, I don't know. I, you, you do Find it. a way. Find you a do way. it. We're loose mm -hmm. on our associations here. Even if you, like, completely BS a story, like, if it's funny. <laughs> you probably you know. in. <laughs> um, uh, I the, can't think of a reason why we would say no to something like if you're like i hate pumpkins this is an apple <laughs> I, I will probably still be like okay the second component is october is breast cancer awareness month so uh the the overarching theme is pumpkins and melons that it's the pumpkin and melon knit along it's so good <laughs> And her husband just came up with that, and it's hilarious. He's so, so funny. I'm, I need to give him proper credit. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was a uh, a Caleb decision. So if you do anything for charity, for breast cancer yep. awareness, yep. do anything that's pink themed mm -hmm. in or, general, or like those ribbon things. ribbons. Yep. Um, there's a charity that I heard about from a friend that's knitted knockers, and it's knitting prostheses mm, okay. for women to insert into their bras if they've had 
mastectomy. Cool. So check or those that out. those boob hats. That boob you... hats for yep. babies. Yep. Whatever. <laughs> Booby related or pumpkin related. Yep. Pumpkins and melons. Pumpkins and melons. Love it. October okay. 1st. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be running the entire month of October. Anything you cast on after or on or after the 1st right. will be eligible. And um, we'll start a thread here in a minute that will be um, both a chatter and a finished object thread. Mm -hmm. So, um, we hope to see you doing that. Yeah. It'll be fun. Keep your eyes peeled for the rest of the rules. Yes. We'll make them up. Yes. Uh, One being you have to be a member of the group. Yes. To participate, uh-huh. I think we're probably going to do one entry per person, just because it's easier for us to keep track of. Um, it's less uh, logistical issues. Um, and you mean you can enter lots of things, but you'll only be entered into the drawing once. Yes. Um, prize uh, information forthcoming. We do have things, but not <laughs> that right here. So shady. We <laughs> got some. <laughs> um so yeah uh hope to see you on the group participating in that thank you very much for watching and for um like and subscribe yeah like and subscribe and joining the group and um if you are a returning viewer thank you very much we appreciate your time spending a uh weird amount of time with us (laughs) It's like you know us. It's like you're in my house right now. It's so good. It's not <laughs> creepy. It's okay. Um, it's okay. Yeah. It'll be okay. Everything is all right. <laughs> and um, what what other outro things do we have to do? Oh, our Etsy shops. We should start plugging oh, those at yeah. the end, too. Wow. Things. Like we're grown-ups. Yeah. Yeah, she's got one. Yeah, I just reopened my Etsy shop, and it's got, like, five things on it, so definitely not fully stocked. Yeah, but it's um, got things. It's got things, and it'll have more things eventually. Um, it is called Lazy Kate Shop, like a, you know, the plying tool, except Kate is spelled like K-A-I-T, not K-A-T-E. Clever pun on my name. Pat myself on the head for that one. Clever. <laughs> Clever. Um, and it's all one word, so L A Z Y K A I T. Um, dot Etsy dot com, and it's it's only knitted objects right now, but it will have yarn in the future. So yarn. I'm excited about that. Yay! Because I'm just gonna steal all the yarn. <laughs> uh, my Etsy shop is Last in Line Shop. I'll link it because I if I start spelling it out loud, it's just going to go really downhill really fast. My verbal spelling skills. <laughs> On paper? Pretty good. Anyways, yeah, I have uh, patterns, printable downloads, and project bags at the moment. Super cute project bags. I can't wait till my sewing machine gets fixed so I can make some more. Yay! Because I have lots of fabric. Yay! Okay, so I think that is it for us. Links will be in the show notes on the Ravelry, Ravelry group as usual. And we will see you next week. Thank Bye. you. Bye!